Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name's Max, and today we're gonna to be going over another product from Hanshow. This time, we're gonna be going over their instrument cluster display for the Tesla Model 3 and the Model Y. Now, this is a heads-up style display that sits on your dashboard centered above your steering wheel so that you can see some information that you would typically have to look over to the infotainment display to see. Now, as much as I like the simplified interior that Tesla comes with, there are a lot of people that don't like the fact that they have to get used to looking over at the infotainment display for things like speed or traffic or GPS. They're much more used to looking down at their cluster display that is in a standard car. This gives you the ability to have all that information up on your dashboard where you're used to looking at it, and it also gives you some cool features such as Apple CarPlay built right into the screen that your phone can pair with wirelessly. So yeah, I'm very excited to see what this is like and see what it's all about. I've reviewed a few products from Hanshow at this point, including a rear entertainment display that my kids absolutely love. And I also recently installed a yoke steering wheel from that company, which is awesome. And I think having this heads up display will pair nicely with the yoke that doesn't have that top bar. So this will be fully in view. If you're interested in seeing either of those videos, I will link them now and they'll be in the description below if you want to check them out. Highly recommend them as a company. Hancho did also give me a discount code specifically for my viewers. If you use the code MightyMax at checkout, you can get 20% off your entire order. They're probably one of the more well-known brands when it comes to Tesla and EV accessories, so definitely worth checking them out if you're interested in any of the products we talk about today or really anything you're looking for if you need a new accessory or if you're looking to upgrade some aspect of your car. All right, so without further ado, let's get into the unboxing and see what this comes with and then do the install on my car. All right, so here we have the box that the instrument cluster display from Hancho comes in. Pretty simple and it gives you a nice graphic of what to expect from this, so let's jump right in. This is designed for the Model 3 and the Model Y and it gives you a heads up display much like you have built into the Model S and the Model X so you don't have to constantly look back at your infotainment display when you're driving your car. So let's get right into it. It comes with a nice handshow decal which is a cool touch as well as a handshow QR code. Not sure if they just gave this to me because I'm doing a review but very cool that they have it. If you point your phone at the screen right now, I bet it takes you directly to the Hancho site. And here we have a nice microfiber cloth. We have our direction slip, which is basically a QR code to take you to the online instructions and online install videos. Here we have the screen itself. It does have a protective cover on it that we will remove after the install. Also along the bottom, you can see this is a 3M adhesive. This is what will keep this screen in place when it's set up on the dash. We also have two plastic crowbars, which will allow us to access the various panels that we will need to get to to wire this into the car. Here's one wiring harness. Here is yet another wiring harness. And here is a coil of wire that likely connects to the screen down to one of the harnesses that I just opened up. And finally, it looks like we have a couple other 3M tabs. Not sure what these are for. They might be to keep this wire into place when we go to do our run, but we'll have to see when we get to the install. All right, with that, that's everything that came to the box. So let's move straight on to the install and get this in the car. So the first thing that you're gonna to wanna to do when you start this install is to roll out the wire run that will go from the screen in the front all the way to the back where you'll be splicing in the power. You're gonna to wanna to wrap this extension cord into the seam along the dash and along the screen, making sure that you leave enough slack so that you can reach the center of the wheel where it will plug into the screen when you're finished the install. Route this wire down along the side of the steering column and then to the seam that runs along your middle console. Feed this in and hide it as much as possible. As you can see where I'm installing this, I already have several different wires that go along the same run. So it was a little bit harder for me to install, but the wire that Hancho includes for this is very thin. So if you have nothing else there, it should be pretty easy to hide this and it should be minimally visible when you're done. Run this wire all the way back along the middle console until you get to the point where it's feeding into the back seat. You will be wiring this into a chassis below the rear AC vents. So you definitely wanna make sure that you gave yourself enough room to get all the way to that point. Once your wire is all set, you move on to removing that rear trim panel 
that sits below the rear air vents. I've done this many times on a few different installs on my channel, but all you really have to do for this is use the little plastic crowbar that they include and work your way around the edges. For me, who's taken that panel off probably half a dozen times, it came off super easy, but if you're struggling with it, just be patient and take your time. You don't wanna rush and accidentally damage or scratch that panel and then permanently mess up your car. Once this is removed, you'll see the connection that you'll be wiring your chassis into. For me, these are two blue clips, and as you can see, I have quite a bit of things wiring into this, but if this is your first install, it should just simply be the blue wire that you have to unhook. Unplug the stock rear connection vents underneath, and then plug in one of the wiring harnesses into that connection. Hancho does include two different types of harness depending on which type of car you have, so make sure you're using the one that fits into the connection that is specifically in your vehicle. Once that's plugged in, you take the one offshoot wire from that harness and plug it into the wire that you fed around from the front. This is going to be powering and feeding information into your screen so it works with your Tesla. With that all set up, press the panel back into place and do any remaining wiring cleanup to try to minimize the amount of visible wire you have in your car. With that reinstalled, it's time to install our screen on the front dash. The first thing I did here was take the screen and hold it into place so I could get a relative idea of where I wanted to have it. I didn't want to have to deal with taking it off and putting it back on once the adhesive was exposed because then you lose some of that stickiness and risk ruining the connection to the dash. But once I felt comfortable that I knew where I wanted it and it was even, I went ahead and removed that 3M cover and placed it in my desired location. Make sure that as you do this, you take the wire that comes from the screen and feed it through the little notch at the bottom so that it is coming out at the correct place. From here, the final step is to plug it in and you should see the screen power up immediately. Now by default, this is gonna give you a ton of information right away. It's gonna give you your car's battery, the amount of mileage left you have on that charge. It's gonna give you your tire pressure. It's gonna give you your speed. And it's also gonna show you what gear you're in and give you some cool displays of the car as you drive, park, or use various functions. Your blinker will show up on this display as well as any alerts that would be present on your infotainment display. Now this is all really cool, but where it really gets interesting is when you use Bluetooth to connect the screen to your phone. When plugged in, it'll automatically send out a Bluetooth signal and you can connect your Apple phone or Android and get either Apple CarPlay or Android Auto, depending on what you have. I did this right away and I have to say, this is the best feature of the screen. This gives you the full Apple CarPlay suite in your car wirelessly and it is just as smooth as the Apple CarPlay that I have in my SUV where I plug my iPhone directly in there and it is native software to that car. You get maps, podcasts, Apple Music, everything that you come to expect from Apple CarPlay is here in this suite. And you can control some of this using the buttons on the wheel. It syncs with the Tesla and allows that. But honestly, if I'm parked, my preferred method is to touch the screen itself as this heads up display is a touchscreen. And honestly, I think it looks awesome. I use Apple Maps or other map software other than the Tesla Google Maps software all the time to verify that I'm on the best route. And now I can use those apps that are available in CarPlay whenever I want to on this screen in an incredibly convenient location. I don't have to look over to my screen anymore to get that information. I can simply flick my eyes down and see it where I'm accustomed to looking anyways. So I think especially new Tesla owners who aren't a fan of just having the infotainment display would be very interested in that feature and it's a huge perk of having the screen. Not to mention the thing just looks gorgeous. It looks like a factory made part. And other than the wires that you have to run and are slightly visible depending on your setup, it really adds to the luxury feel of the car. Model S's and Model X's both have heads up displays like this. And I think they look awesome on those cars. And I wish they had that option to do it on some of the other Tesla models. This gives you ability to do that and get features that Tesla does not offer with an aftermarket part. The install itself was relatively easy. I'm extremely used to plugging stuff into that back panel of my car, so it's second nature. I've said it in other videos and I'll say it here now, don't be intimidated by it. It's incredibly easy. Honestly, the most difficult part about the install is having to hide and run that wire. That's the most frustrating and that's really just a function of taking your time and making sure that it looks good. The screen also does come with built-in audio, so it can play music or your navigation through the screen without interfering with what's coming out of your speaker display, but it is on the quieter side, so you're probably gonna wanna have something rigged up to your main speakers so that you can hear that navigation through whatever you might be listening to while driving. But yeah, overall, I think this is an awesome product. I think it gives my Model 3 a much more luxury feel and honestly probably makes it a bit safer since all the information that I need to look at is positioned conveniently right where my eyes are gonna look anyways. So I'm not looking over, trying to remember where things are on my infotainment display. Instead, they're where I'm used to no matter what car I'm driving. So 
If you're someone who has missed having a heads up display or someone who just wants to upgrade their Tesla Model 3 or Y with something a little bit more high end and give it more of a high tech feel, definitely check out Hancho's instrument cluster display. Again, right now my viewers get 20% off using discount code MightyMax at checkout, so it's never been a better time to buy and get that great deal. Anyways, that's all I had to talk about today. If you did enjoy this content and you want to see more, please remember to like, comment, and subscribe to see more. As always, thank you so much for watching. Until next time.